And you have five minutes for your presentation as well. All right, thank you, Your Worship. I have a list of changes uh, I'd suggest to make to the budget. Um, first off, it's more important to me that we build our public services than hold taxes low. So the city's been able to dig deep for the Rough Riders in the past, and now it's time to come through for equally important libraries, schools, public transportation, recycling, and reducing our, leading, our world leading air pollution figures. Cities should buy Saskatchewan Transportation Corporation buses. That's Regina, Saskatoon, maybe Moose Jaw should buy some buses and operate a transit service between major cities. It's really a shame that the province has cut this and has left this to the cities to maybe take care of uh, transportation for their citizens. Uh, even though this, the government's fallen down on the job, it doesn't mean we have to lose ground based public transportation to our closest neighboring urbans and their services. As you know, Regina has no via train service, and it's madness to lose our bus routes to Saskatoon, Weyburn, Estevan, Yorkton, and other cities. We must not let it happen. Regina, Saskatoon, and Moose Jaw all have transportation services that they operate, and they could be extended to enhance intercity transportation options that were lost with the pending closure of STC. Second, ensure the Regina Public Library can function the best it can with the loss of the interlibrary loans program due to provincial anti-education cuts. And next, if you dare to think of closing public pools for the season to save money, I want to see it to be only because it's being repaired properly during the closure to make the pool last for decades more. Next, do not end holiday bus service. As another delegation pointed out, it's really uh, kicking people who are working in difficult jobs where they have to uh, work on holidays to cut that service. And it's one of the few areas that Council had permitted Regina Transit to improve upon in recent years. So it would be taking a large step backward to deny people that important service and cause uncertainty about the availability of transit in Regina on any given holiday. Next, to save money, reverse the earlier decision to give 193000 to Wascana Centre to extend parking, the parking lot at Candy Cane Park. Paving more of the park for cars does not fit with the official community plan sustainability requirements that Bike Regina brought up this evening. People can park at the Science Centre's new lot and walk or park on Broder Street or any number of the residential streets within walking distance there. If the apparent safety problem is due to illegally park cars, as I was told by Wascana Centre, ticket and or tow them. Boom, revenue. People can also take Regina Transit to the location on number 15, which is another reason you shouldn't cut holiday service. Instead, add a sidewalk to Victoria Avenue East of Park Street to connect downtown to points in East Regina. Connect Regina Avenue's sidewalk to the multi-use pathway at the Regina Airport that they've built to the bridge at Sandra Schmerler Way near Sastel International. It's really shameful that there's no safe active transportation options to our airport or to our entire northeast side of our city from this spot that I'm standing on. Spend enough on cycling infrastructure to ensure that there's more than one project this season to improve the safety of children on bikes in our city. Enough men have died on bikes in Regina in the past year to make most people realize that it's crucial we fix our streets level of safety. You can put the right sort of um, lanes, bollards, and paint down while crews are repaving any given street this year like they'll be doing anyway, so it meets a modern safe standard. Mr. Klein, you have one minute. Thanks. The city has promised to do this for years, so make sure it happens this year. Set aside $10,000, is the next item, to spend on renewable energy equipment so the city can finally generate more renewable power than I do for our electrical grid with a modest investment two years ago. The city would also surpass the province's contribution to renewable energy on our electrical grid. This should especially appeal to you, I think, after the province's mismanagement and unkind cuts made tonight's meeting necessary. Um, additionally, garbage pickup going to bi-weekly is a positive change, and I'm glad that's being made. And I think you mentioned in the budget changes that household hazardous waste collection might be uh, discontinued at, at household hazardous waste days. So I hope that's not discontinued. 
And um, I'm glad you're not advertising about road repairs because that's not really great. Uh, you could instead sweep the bike lanes so there's not piles of sand in them. Clara, Thank you. I, ask you. I have to stop there. Sorry. You're I'm done. Sorry. Thanks. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, questions of the delegation? You made yourself perfectly clear. Thank, thank you. you very much. You can uh, return to the